So let us derive an expression for the energy stored in a capacitor. Suppose we have a capacitor. Let this be its two plates. Let's call this as plate one and this as plate, plate two. Now, initially these two plates are, let these two plates be uncharged. See, uncharged means this uncharged plate doesn't mean that this plate has no charge, but it has equal number of charges. For example, I'm drawing this here. Suppose the this plate, the same plate one is here. It's called one, two. Suppose this has four units of positive charge and four units of negative charge. This means this plate is uncharged because equal number of positive and negative charges. So they cancel each other and the net charge is zero. Similarly, for this one also, here we have four units of positive charge and four units of negative charge. So initially these two, charge, these two plates are uncharged. So what will happen if I transfer a unit charge, unit positive charge from the plate 2 to the plate 1. What will happen is the plate 1 will get an additional positive charge and the plate 2 loses this charge. Now you can calculate there are 5 positive units and 4 negative units. So it will get a plus 1 charge. Similarly, here it is 4 units of negative charge. There is only 3 units of positive charge. So this will get a net minus 1 charge. So if I transfer 1 coulomb of positive charge, let's say 1 coulomb or 1 unit, unit of positive charge from an uncharged plate to plate 2 to charged plate, uh, uncharged plate 1, the plate 1 gets a positive charge and the plate 1 gets a negative charge. So what I mean by this is if I if I transfer Q units of charge from Q units of positive charge from plate 2 to plate 1 at any instant Q be the plus Q be the charge on the plate 1 and minus Q be the charge on the plate 2. So let's consider let's say let me erase this. You remember that you remember that is q units of charges q unit of charge is transferred from plate 2 to plate 1 clear so that the plate 1 will get plus q charge and plate 2 get minus q charge suppose we are charging these plates by transferring a charge bit by bit okay so at any instant any instant of time t let q be the charge on plate 1 we are not considering the plate 2 because anyway if q is the charge on plate 1 minus q be the charge on plate 2 now let let us transfer a small amount dq let dq be the charge transferred from the plate 2 to plate 1 that is p transfer transfer from plate 2 to plate 1 clearly you 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 know that this will be minus q minus dq because a minus dq negative charge will arises here and let this dq is not not reached here okay let it is in the path in between 2 and 1 in between the plates 2 and 1 so what will happen is you can see that here it is a huge positive charge that is we have plus q charge so we are bringing a positive charge that is this dq is a positive charge to a positive plate clearly there is a repulsion between this plus q and dq so what you have to do is you have to do some work clear if you say that in order to overcome this repulsion 
you have to do some work. Otherwise, you can't bring this DQ to the charge Q, to, to the plate one. So let DW be the work, small work. Let's say DW is the work. So DW, by the definition of work, that is work DW, by the definition we have potential of the plate one into charge DQ. You know work is equal to potential into charge, charge which is transferred. That is DW will be, you know the potential by the definition or by the relationship between charge, capacitance and potential. We have potential is equal to Q divided by C. Clear. That is but potential V equal to Q by C. So instead of V you can substitute Q divided by C DQ. Let's call this as equation number 1. So in order to get the total work, so the total work, total work W, what you have to do is you have to integrate this one, Q by C DQ. And initially this plate one is uncharged zero. So the limit, lower limit is zero and we are interested in charging the plate to a charge capital Q, zero to Q. Let Q be the maximum charge attained by the plate. So W is equal to, you can take this C outside because capacitance doesn't depend upon charge and potential. It, it depends only on the geometry of the plates. Okay. So integral zero to Q, Q dQ. This is equal to 1 by C, you know, integral of x dx is equal to x square by 2. So here it will be Q square by 2 with lower limit 0 and upper limit Q. So W will be 1 by, C, well you can take this 2 outside, 1 by 2C. Substitute the upper limit, that is Q square minus lower limit 0 square. So this will be, we have the expression for work is equal to, W is equal to Q square divided by 2C. But you know, by the law of conservation of energy, the work done is stored, always stored as energy. So the work done to charge the capacitor is stored as energy. We have work equal to energy energy e. so energy of the capacitor is equal to q square divided by 2c so this is the expression for energy stored by energy stored in a capacitor also this this equation has several other forms because you can you can substitute q equal to Cv but Q equal to Cv so therefore E will be instead of Q you can substitute Cv whole square divided by 2C that is equal to half C square V square by C which means you can cancel this C half Cv square this is an this is another expression for the energy. Also, also you have energy E is equal to 1 by 2. Also, you have C. C will be Q divided by V. So, Q by V into V square. You can cancel one of the V's. So, E is equal to half Q. These are different expressions for the energy. Clear.